Hey, it's Clay Trader, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol FRFS. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame. I think that's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation, it makes mapping out where levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. And really just, uh, you know, Clay, what do I think about this chart? Well, this thing was an absolute pump and dump. Now, what do I mean by pump and dump? I'm not saying that in regards to the company. I don't know anything about the company. So I'm not implying that they're being run out of some bunker in North Korea. I'm making that statement based solely on how the price acted. And my definition of a pump and dump is that a price makes a really nice move. And then within a relatively short amount of time, the price goes back to where it started or in some cases lower. So what I wanna do is just apply this definition and you can kind of see where this is coming from. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just these lines don't really pertain anymore. But where did it all start? Well, to me, it started when it broke out of this stubborn area right here at 0.036. You look back here through the history of the chart and you can see that on several occasions, the bulls kept trying to break up through that area and just couldn't quite do it. I mean, this level was being extremely, extremely stubborn, but it was finally able to break through it right there. So again, that is what I am defining as the starting point. So let's apply the definition. Price makes a really nice move. Well, considering it started right there and then went up as high as there, I think we'd all agree that was a really, really nice move. Second part of the definition, within a relatively short amount of time, considering this all happened in less than two days worth of trading, I'm hoping we can agree that, yeah, that's a pretty short amount of time. The price goes back to where it started or in some cases lower. Again, where did it start? That green line right there. Where did it ultimately close? Down there below it. So another way to look at this is, the price has literally fallen back inside of this channel that it already broke out of. And I don't mean to state the obvious, and hopefully I am stating the obvious when I say, price movements with true power, price movements with genuine strength are gonna make progress forward. They're not gonna go back to where they were, and that's exactly what happened here. The price is literally back inside of the channel that it broke out from. Again, I'm assuming you're saying, yeah, thank you, Captain Obvious, I get it. Price movements are gonna make progress if they're truly strong, not fall back to where they were, because that would be a contradiction. Now, am I saying that the price can never ever make a good move again? I'm not saying that at all. So another way you could look at this is by saying, you know, back to the drawing board for the bulls. Who knows, maybe tomorrow this is the world of penny stocks. The price will come, you know, rocketing it again. But as far as the price movement that happened on Friday, and was there any sort of genuine power behind it? Absolutely not. It was a pump and dump. If there was true power behind it, the price would not be back inside of the channel that it broke out you know, ab above. So we'll see if the price can put something new together or not. But as far as that Friday's price action is concerned, again, there just wasn't any sort of genuine power behind it. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.